If you find yourself with a camera in your hand and want to learn how to use it, please subscribe to this channel, like the videos, comment below. Hey Photos Photographers, today we're talking about wine and the photography of wine. So three tips for photographing wine is going to be very important to um, well, okay, so some wines can be very expensive. Some wines are not as expensive. But um, if you shoot with a cheaper wine, be very careful that the color is exactly the same of the, the wine that you're shooting for, if you're shooting for a label or uh, a specific um, age of, of wine. Um, the color shouldn't change to my knowledge that much in the aging of the wine um but the um the difference of brand is what i'm talking about one cheap brand of wine perhaps may not have the um golden or white color of the label you're shooting for and so that's why i'm suggesting be very careful trying to shoot with a cheap wine of what um, you might be shooting for brand or, or other things of the wine that you are, are doing a contract for. So color is key. Um, it's, it's perhaps the most important aspect of the shoot. Um, but tip number two, select the wine glass that you're shooting in very carefully because the bowl of the glass is going to be important. If you're doing kind of like a pour splash, um, you're gonna want to be able to see through the glass bowl into the area where the, the wine is being held. Um, and so then you want to see, if, if you um, if you wanna see the pour coming into the glass and then splashing up through the, the bottom of the bowl of the, the glass, then you're gonna to wanna to choose that carefully because not all of those glasses are blown or crafted in such a way to um, uh, create that splash effect. Uh, a lot of these, um, I was gonna call them goblets, but they, they, some of these may actually be larger uh, volume. Not that the pour should ever be over a certain amount, um, because from most of the wine connoisseurs I speak with, they, they talk about letting the, the wine breathe. Um, Y'all may actually drink more wine than I do, so y'all actually know what's what is involved here. Um, but the and, and that's really just coming from serving at, at a restaurant to to know how much to pour and how how not to fill the glass to the top. Um, but that's actually kind of one of the things from photography that I've learned that when I watch a movie and see somebody pouring wine, I'm saying stop, stop, stop. <laughs> but Anyway, so uh, that's that's kind of just a humorous thing about wine photography. But um, so select your glass carefully. If you want specific effects done, test it out with water, or um, if you have colored water, or if you have tea, see how you can capture that splash. And if that glass needs to be changed out, if that glass perhaps is just prohibiting the liquid from flowing like you want it to to create that that splash, uh, it's easy to assume that we're not good enough to capture that moment, but don't be so hard on yourself either. Perhaps it's the glass that's deficient and it's not formed properly to actually get that splash you're looking for. Another thing is uh, be sure that the the pitcher you pour from or the bottle, if you pour from the bottle, make sure that the, the pour is not chugging so that there's constant airflow into the bottle and liquid flow out. Um, or if you, you need to use a pitcher so that you get a good pour and there's no, no airflow issue causing the, the liquid to chug in spurts. Um, so that's a free tip. Tip number three is the, the lighting of your shot and the style is so very important. It's perhaps the second biggest aspect of your shot, um, not just the style of the camera angle and the style of getting the pour splash, but you don't want the lighting to reflect in the glass to draw away from the pour 
so that's part of what we're talking about there but the shot style you don't want to push it so far out of normal um shot styles of photography that somebody's going i don't understand it this looks like wine but i can't really i don't associate with it quickly um and so that's what we're talking about for shot style um so the the three steps again uh three tips that we're talking about today is color of the wine is very important you don't want to be advertising a red wine and shooting a white i mean that's kind of obvious but um be sure that the red color comes out if you're shooting a red wine um if you are shooting in a glass uh typically that's kind of what a lot of wine photography showcases because that's how everybody's going to drink it right um Hopefully not many people drink it straight out of the bottle. But, um, so, you know, colors, tip number one, select the right glass that you're going to be shooting in. Step number two, uh, tip number three, uh, tip number two, and tip number three is your lighting and shot style are very important also so that it's a quick identification and the logo of the wine brand or the specific bottle. Uh, the the I was going to give some some styles of wines and and blends but the the specific uh wine uh, wine itself is important uh to showcase if it's a a, a label specific brand of wine you don't want necessarily just any brand being showcased um, for all the wines they may produce you want to showcase that brand's specific wine so I hope that makes sense there. I, I hope I didn't make that too confusing. But uh, those are the three tips. Your color, glass selection, and lighting is very important to your shot style. So thank you so much for watching. We look forward to seeing in the comments down below how this content has added to value to your shooting and uh, being valuable enough to give it a thumbs up so that other people can watch this and, and enjoy it as well. If you're not yet a subscriber, we would love to have your subscription. Thank you so much. God bless.